So in today's video, I will be sharing with you one of the dresses that I made and I made this dress last year and then I'll also talk about this little bodysuit that I'm wearing. Okay, so this dress that I made, I made like I said, I made it last year around September and it is McCall 7662. I wrote down a couple of notes because I didn't want to forget a couple things that I want to make sure that I mention in this video. So this is fabric that I purchased on eBay a while ago and I really like it with the stripes and the little flowers in there. I thought that was so pretty and it's like a jersey, jersey knit. So this dress is a wrap dress. So it has a little tie on the side and it's pretty long and in fact I cut off, how much did I cut off? I cut off two inches of the pattern before I made it because I re realized that it was going to be a little too long for me. One of the things that happened while I was making this is that I had trouble with the waistband and I could not figure out what the directions actually wanted me to do. So this is one of the patterns where I actually did call the McCall's company and I had someone on the phone help me walk, help walk me through the directions and so I was able to get the waistband right. So um, yeah, that was just one issue that I had, but everything else went together pretty well. There were a lot of pieces, so that's a heads up and what else oh i did add a snap to the front because the front kind of gapes open a little bit i think that is about it so um before i show you what this looks like on let me just talk about this bodysuit that i'm wearing so this is the bodysuit that i'm wearing and it's just simple i just put it on with a pair of jeans and this is the back and this pattern is quick sew 2204 and I made view E and I just decided to leave the sleeves off. So I just folded the hem over and just kind of sewed that down. I did stabilize it first. Yeah, so that is it. These are my two makes. So I will go ahead and show you what these look, well, what the dress looks like. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. And my love share comes from an experience that I had the other day. So when I get gas, I have a bad habit of just twisting the um, gas cap once or twice and then I just go on about my day. Well, I learned the other day that you should always push your gas cap in and twist it until you hear three clicks because if you don't, it could make your check engine light come on, which is what happened to me. So I had to go find out what the problem was and it turned out that my gas cap wasn't twisted all the way. I was like, oh wow, that may be able to help somebody else. I had no idea that how important it was to click it three times. So yes, that is my love share for the day. And thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next video. <laughs>